All right, so here it is. 14 foot. It needs some work. Not much though. It needs a little bit of fiberglass work. Uh, repaint it, you know. Get a motor on it, some lights, and a uh, blind would be good to go. Uh, it's got a little crack here, nothing big. The transom's got a little crack in the back, so we're just gonna fill that and reinforce it right here. But other than that, it's good to go. Not bad, huh? Well, here it is. The old piece of shit. The quack. Got a lot of work to do. Crack right here. I'm gonna take all this off. I'm actually gonna box this in. Got a little crack right here. Um, just cut this for my switches to run all my lights uh, and everything. Here, I'm probably gonna put the gas tank up front so the boat's a little light. Um, and then gotta fix this crack back here on the transom. But uh, yeah, getting after it. Also gotta replace this right here. Uh, the winch for the front is broke. And I got two new tires for this thing. Um, go ahead and throw the guide poles on it too. I'm probably gonna make those. Uh, I'm gonna budget everything out with it. Uh, I still haven't tested the lights on this thing yet, so yeah, I gotta do that as well. But not too bad, not too bad. <laughs> So, got some more work done on the boat. Uh, working on the transom plate right now, did some fiberglassing. The guy before me had used one of the dry storages for a live well, so I decided to uh, patch that up. I don't really need a live well, um, but I already shaped my transom plate and uh, just got that tacked in. Uh, so, you see right here, just got everything tacked up. I'm gonna weld that in uh, here in a little bit, pull it off. Got uh, all the holes in here patched up and I gotta do it from the bottom um, and then go from there. Like I said, I still gotta fix the front and yeah, just trying to get everything patched up so that way I can get straight to painting and throwing that motor on. Not too bad, not too bad. So just finished welding this, grinded it down. Not the best, but it'll work.
All right, so pretty close to being done. Um, just finished up fiberglass in the back and getting it all cleaned up. I'm putting down rubber matting uh, in the middle and I'm gonna paint the rest in. About to paint back here. Um, do some fiberglass work. Uh, finish all the fiberglass up there. And then we're gonna mount the motor on it um, and probably take it out. Uh, you know before it's completely done, but it's pretty much almost done. Just have to mount the lights and uh, everything else, but It's been uh, you know it's been some work, but uh, I can't wait to see this thing hit the water and hopefully we'll get on some ducks All right, so Got all the lights mounted up, motors on. Um, I'm actually putting down some rubber matting right here. Um, that's camo. Light panel or light switch panel is uh, installed. The tops from this, I just uh, fixed some holes in it so they're drying out over there. And once I'm done with that, get them painted. Front's pretty much done. Um, got uh, this blocked off now. I just got to mount everything and box that in a little better. Lights, everything's coming out pretty good. Um, All right, so it's been a fun journey. Boat's pretty much done. Uh, Got to wire up the back lights uh, that I have mounted and a couple other little things, but it's good to go. Got to build a blind and I'll be done. Uh, I've already duck hunted out of it. Uh, covered up well by myself, just with burlap and everything. But uh, yeah, take a look. I uh, got the mud skipper uh, service drive. I know a lot of people hate on it, but I got a really good deal on it. Um, actually, gonna upgrade the lower shaft to the high performance one. So I'm having some, you know, it doesn't cut through hydrilla very good, but um, for the most part, it, you know, it does really well. It does about 23 um, with me, uh, you know, and I just installed the tack, which. Um, it uh now I can really see you know where the RPMs are and I can change you know the springs etc. I already put a helper spring on there. It gave me a little bit more RPM. I clean clean up some of this wiring, but um, for the most part everything's good. Paint's holding up well. Like I said, I hunted early season out of it and it did really good. Um, I'm happy, you know, $2,200 probably in the whole thing, maybe 23, but it uh, it moves. It's not bad, uh, it's not leaking. Got this rubber flooring from uh, Amazon. It's pretty good, cheap ass. Gate, uh, switch panel for everything. Um, my good buddy made me this grab bar had a conduit all lights up everything's good to go it's awesome you can build one of these things on a budget it don't take much you just got to be patient and really uh really look for those deals you know